So, patients with chronic kidney disease, they actually have trouble excreting many substances, including those that are derived from protein metabolism. So it is true that those people in end-stage kidney disease should not be put on a high-protein diet. However, we should keep in mind that a low-carb diet is not high-protein by design, although it can be. Now, just for the sake of discussion, let's suppose it is a high-protein diet, okay? Uh, I like to do an analogy uh, with heart failure and exercise. A patient that has a uh, late-stage heart failure cannot tolerate uh, exercise like, for example, going two flights of stairs. He may die, okay? But that does not mean that exercise is bad for the heart. So, it is a logical fallacy. Very sick heart equals low exercise tolerance. That is true. But exercise does not cause heart disease. Likewise, very sick kidneys, they can't tolerate a high-protein diet but a high-protein diet does not cause kidney disease, okay? Now, this is one randomized control trial of a low-carb, high-protein diet. It is not the only one. There are many, okay? But here, for example, we have a very low-carb, high-protein diet compared to a high-carb diet. And this is the conclusion. This study provides preliminary evidence that long-term weight loss with very low-carb diet does not adversely affect renal function compared with a high-carb diet. Now, some people will object. This is a study that lasted just one year, but what if it's not bad for your kidney uh, for one year, but it will explode it in five years? So next, we are going to look at an observ observational study of patients with type 2 diabetes that are deemed to be at high risk of kidney disease. Now, we are talking about 6,000 patients followed from 2002 to 2008. In this graph, what is to the left is protective, and what is to the right is associated with a higher risk of progression to kidney disease in these patients. And I'm going to highlight Animal protein, because we all have heard that animal protein is especially bad. But see, those that consumed the most animal protein were actually less likely to progress to kidney disease. And basically, the only two kinds of foods that were associated with a bad outcome were high carbohydrate foods and deep fried fast food which shouldn't be a surprise because those patients are diabetic. And diabetic patients, why are they losing renal function? Because high blood sugar is affecting the kidney. So it's, of course, high carbohydrate foods that should be bad for them. It's not by eating beef that you make your diabetes worse. Here we have another one. This it has more than 806,000 patients, uh, 8,600 patients. Uh, followed for six and a half years. And you can see that renal function uh, does not change according to the level of protein intake. But if we look at the all-cause mortality, those that eat very little protein actually die more. Uh, there is something funny about this paper because if you look at the title, <laughs> high protein intake associates with cardiovascular events, but not with loss of renal function. So they needed to find something bad <laughs> about protein, okay? So these events, they are not cardiovascular death, okay? You actually die more if you eat less protein. Mm -hmm.